Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be going over how to provide some power to this breadboard. So, let's get started. Um, so, if you bought the kit that I detailed in, the, I showed in the first video, then you would have received this little bugger. This is probably the easiest way, or the way that I was most comfortable with providing power to the breadboard. So it's, it's a power supply module. If you don't buy the kit, you can actually buy these, just these by themselves, for £2.50, I believe. Yeah, £2.50. That's how much I pay for this one. So you can buy this one in singularly by itself, or you can buy you can buy the kit that I mentioned, which was this kit here. I would highly recommend you buy this kit, just because you get all the LEDs and everything else with it as well. And a breadboard, but if you don't, if you're new to this whole game and you'd like to get started, these power supply modules are amazing. They basically have, I don't want to go into too much detail, but they have um, pins for 5 volts, pin for 3.3 volts, pin for grounds, um, again, 5 volt pins. It has a button to turn it on and off, it has one of those um, barrel. Um, DC inputs and it has a USB input as well. Both these two are to provide power. So the USB provides 5 volts and DC input, uh, the DC input can provide uh, up to 12 volts. So all you simply do with these is you literally just stick it into the breadboard like that. Now there is a little bit of a science to it which is that if you take a look you can see it has positive, negative positive negative so if you want to stick to the labeling then you want to make sure that for example you stick it in this way or you know down here like so there you go and now you've got the positive and negative labeling matching up so once you've got that plugged in then what you can do is you can take your USB that comes with the kit and then or you can just get any other USB that plug it into a power cord um, or power brick plug it into your wall and then you plug this one straight in here right turn it on boom, and there you go it lights up and now these two rails positive and negative positive and negative they're now powered and ready to go so I've got an LED here, right? If I now plug this in correctly, positive to negative, there you go. We've got power, right? So this is providing five volts, and it's providing positive and negative to these two, positive and negative to these two as well. If I plug the the LED in anywhere else on the board, it's not going to make a difference at all because as we've mentioned previously, these aren't powered, these are only connected across like this downwards and if I wanted to get power I would need to get a cable or wire. Cool, so let's now provide some power, what we'll do is we'll turn off the power supply module, unplug the USB and now if we get one of those DC power bricks and we can actually plug in power this way, so into the barrel hole plug it in, turn it on, there you go, we've got power again, so let's do the same thing, plug the LED in, ready, there you go, pretty cool right, so that's the, that's the two ways that you could power this breadboard using these, using this power supply module, like I said very inexpensive, I'll leave a link to the just this one. Although I've linked to the kit, I also put a link to this this in the video as well in the description as well. So let's put that one aside now. Let's move on to a really cool way of powering it, which is using these. I was very um, not confident, let's say, in using these to begin with, but now I'm more than comfortable using it. And I suppose it's a bit batteries can be a bit scary to begin with, but yeah, this is one of those. 9 volt um, battery power adapters so what you can do is 
you can literally take a 9 volt battery like so connect the two up right and now you've got the positive and negative stick it literally black into negative red into positive and now you've got power now what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to plug the LED in to show you that it's powered um, because I'll save that for another video <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll just connect this resistor in don't worry about this for now I'll go over this in a later video let's just connect this resistor in here what we'll do is connect it in actually like this I'm going to prove to you that this has power but first I need to do some technical, technical stuff which I will explain in another video so as you can see there the resistor is powered sorry the LED is powered and literally all we have connected is just a battery pretty cool right so if I unplug the LED if I plug it in somewhere else nothing will happen if I plug it in over here right positive to negative again nothing happens why because these two rails are powered not these two right cool okay so we'll unplug this now right 9 volt battery now what's really cool is one of these but I'll also link this in the description it's literally a battery pack where you take these right plug them in here like so like so like so and like so now what you do is you take this same adapter plug it in here and let's plug in the LED again and there you go we have power again pretty cool right so those are the the four ways that you could power a breadboard there there aren't there is another way you could use a power supply but uh, I actually don't own a power supply yet I do need to get one of course but um, yeah I don't own one yet so I will be getting one but use um, the power supply module which you can get for 250 you can get these cheap adapters you can get the battery adapter as well this is for really cheap and then obviously a 9 volt battery as well cool alright in the next video I'll show you why you shouldn't plug the LED into this which will be fun Cool. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.